Hello, hello, and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today at the St. Ignatius College Prep College Fair. We have an incredible group of institutions who are excited to have you and tell you all about their programs. Just to let you know how today's event is going to go, we have uh, institutions who will each have six minutes to share more about their schools, campuses, programs. So they're going to stick around for the entire event. And then at the end, we'll be able to have a very quick Q&A um, and make sure and get some important questions answered. My name is Jeannie, and I will be your facilitator for the event. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. Your camera and your microphone are off today, so our panelists cannot see or hear you but you do have a Q&A button on your screen and you can use that throughout the entire event. So make sure and find that Q&A button and submit those questions at any time today. This is one of many different sessions happening. We have another one taking place immediately after this session. So make sure you visit the schedule and see what a session you're going to attend next. And then this presentation along with all of the others are being recorded and you can find the full list at thrivescan.com forward slash Ignatius. I'm going to put that um, website in the chat for you all so you can reference it later, but we're going to get this started by turning it over to our first presenter. Kicking it off today is Kettering University. Take it away whenever you're ready. Thank you so much and good evening, everyone. It's always so weird on these that I don't really see all of you uh, guests. <laughs> so let me share screen. All righty, very good. Should be sharing my screen now, but yeah. Thank you again. Uh, my name is Nathan Kober and I'm uh, representing Kettering University and we are uh, located in Flint, Michigan. Um, so a few hours away from the Chicagoland area, um, but my role is kind of unique at Kettering. I do the admissions recruiting for the state of Illinois and I'm also a co-op manager. And I'll get into what a co-op means here in a little bit. Um, yeah, I recruit and, and work with Illinois, also uh, Midwest states of Ohio, Indiana, and Wisconsin. And I also have the pleasure of working with the Carolinas and the state of Virginia. So I'm gonna jump right in. Uh, so we just have a few, few minutes uh, together for each school, but um, these are the programs that Kettering offers. So we focus very closely and, and uh, very purposefully um, on the engineering disciplines. Then we also uh, want to make note of our computer science and then the business management major. These are the nine degree programs that Kettering offers. We don't have anything in addition to this other than about 30 concentrations within these disciplines. Uh, to give you an example of a couple of concentrations with computer science, um, we have artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. Uh, with mechanical engineering, we have um, automotive engineering design, um, and then in, say, electric uh, engineering systems, we have um, robotic systems, mechatronics, and some areas in that regard. Um, but something that's really unique to, to Kettering, so if you haven't heard of us, um, some of you may, may have known General Motors Institute um, from our, our history. That is the same institution. <laughs> and uh, what's unique to Kettering um, is our co-op uh, schedule or, or academic calendar if you will. And that is kind of highlighted in this little table graphic here at the bottom. So Kettering actually has two sections. We have A section, which is about a thousand students. We have B section, which is about a thousand students at, uh, as well. So the students at Kettering actually rotate rather than uh, two semesters and a summer break, we actually are on a quarter system. And so the students rotate every three months between a school term where you take classes on campus and a work term which is a co-op job or um, a co-op is kind of another form of internship if you haven't heard the, the phrase co-op, um, but it is recurring. So students do a co-op um, at the same company throughout their time at Kettering. It starts freshman year as well. Um, I mentioned the size of Kettering, but we are a small institution, mostly undergraduate students. Um, in addition to, to the co-op piece, um, I wanted to highlight that they are paid experiences. So throughout your time, every three months you're rotating, you're getting paid for those work experiences, 15 to $20 an hour, depending on your major and your year in school. 
um, really awesome experiences and then to get paid for six months out of the, the calendar year is really awesome, especially during your, your undergraduate college career. Um, in addition to um, these programs or these partners, we actually have over 400 employers that we work with. Many of them do have ties to the automotive industry, but a couple that uh, are not. We have aerospace, we have um, healthcare entities. Um, a company I work with based out of Ohio is Nestle. So food and beverage is also an industry that we, we work with. Um, highlighting a few things with our application. Um, we do use the Common App and then our Kettering application. Something that's really important for you underclassmen to know is look at our math requirements. We do require trig, um, one year of trig or one semester, and then the equivalent would maybe be pre-calculus, but we do like um, our students to get to, to calculus if they can before coming to Kettering. We also like to see chemistry and physics in those two years of lab sciences. Um, I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit here. Um, we are a residential campus, um, but our students do live in the residence hall their freshman year. All of our residence halls are also single dorm rooms. So kind of a neat feature of our dorm. Um, I'm gonna jump ahead because I wanna get to our scholarship slide. Um, so Kettering does a great job with scholarships. We have uh, merit scholarships ranging from $8,000 to $17,000 each year. Um, we also have some competitive scholarships for robotics. Uh, coding and programming, vehicle mobility, DECA, and a few other things. And then we also have your, your co-op funds that help pay for your education at Kettering. So this is the breakdown per academic term, but something I like to highlight on this term, in addition to our, our cost, is the fixed tuition guarantee. Once you start at Kettering, our tuition does not go up. Um, and then kind of in closing, something I'd like to highlight for uh, many of you are usually uh, underclassmen on these uh, virtual events. So I wanted to highlight our pre-college programs. Um, some of these are residential programs. And on our campus where you'd live in the dorm and take classes, um, and, and many of them are, are great for high school students. And regardless of where you want to go to college, uh, high school academic programs or, or pre-college programs are really great to, to help kind of build your resume. Um, and so <clears throat> I definitely want to highlight these programs. They are application based. And then we do have scholarships available for these pre college programs as well. Um, in closing, we do offer a lot of visit programs, individual campus tours. We have some preview days coming up this spring. And then we'll have a whole slate of events in the fall uh, again as well. But the other thing I wanted to highlight uh, just briefly with our application um, our early action deadline is November 15th. And we do a rolling admissions timeline. So the sooner you apply, the sooner you'll find out from Kettering. Usually it's about a two to four week turnaround from the time you apply and we receive your high school transcript to the time you get um, an admissions decision from us. But I'll be on the chat answering a few questions and I will provide my contact information here in a little bit. But thank you all for joining tonight. Awesome, thank you so much for getting us started, Kettering University. We're going to hear now from Lawrence Technological University whenever you're ready. All right, hey y'all. Um, fun fact about me as I set up my PowerPoint, um, I actually went to Ignatius. So I am an alum myself, but yeah, so let's get started. Uh, welcome to Lawrence Technological University. So if you've never heard of us before, that's okay. We have four colleges, um, starting with architecture and design, arts and science, business and IT, and engineering. So here's a little bit about us. We're in Southfield, Michigan. The way that I like to describe that to our students is we are pretty much right in between Detroit and Ann Arbor. So if you're a big University of Michigan fan, you can go over there. If you're an Ohio State fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, like I said, we're about 30 minutes from downtown Detroit. And this just kind of shows some of our stats for our students. So these are a list of our academic programs. I know there are a ton on the screen, so feel free, please, to take a photo. Um, this is showing uh, each of our colleges. As you can see, we have a ton of engineering programs specifically, but we do have quite a few majors, masters, and doctorate programs to choose from. So these are some stats about us. We have an 11 to one student to faculty ratio because we have about 2000 students on campus. We actually just had our biggest freshman class that we've ever had last year. We're very excited. It was about 500 students and our average class size still stayed 15 to 20 students. And the class sizes will be even smaller when you are an upperclassman. 
So we also have uh, the top 11% of alumni salaries after graduating and 80% of our students actually have a job lined up by their senior year already. So our motto is theory and practice. So this just shows we offer a ton of co-ops and internships. We have applied research. Um, on the bottom left, you're actually seeing some of our students with a Formula One race car. So if you guys are interested, we're in Detroit. We were, you know, started with the help of Henry Ford. So if you like cars, you like Lone Star. <laughs> so these are some photos of our students. Um, this is actually a photo from our newest hall. Um, it's East Hall, and it's actually where all of our freshmen live. So um, we have four housing units on campus. We also have an apartment complex off campus and the laundry, utilities and parking are all free. Um, we also have a ton of opportunities if you would like to hang out. Uh, we have five, almost 500 um, competitions each year, year for athletics because we pretty much have every sport that you would think of um, except for swimming, unfortunately. But we even have ice hockey and I know that y'all have a hockey team. I've been to so many games. So uh, showing that list. Um, also, we have an esports team. So we have a competitive team. It has about 50 students on the team. There's a coach. You have an arena, as you can see in this photo, and you are offered a scholarship. So um, just, you know, if you are interested in more information, I have more information about specifically athletics at the end, but um, we've got uh, marching band, pep band, color guard, and I know that y'all uh, have a marching band and well, a pep band at least. <laughs> so this is the requirements for our freshmen. If you are applying, um, if you're a junior on this call, we are test optional still next year. Um, the $30 application fee, if you get a hold of me, um, I'll put my email down, uh, but if you get a hold of me, I can actually give you a um, code so you don't have to pay that application fee, but you will have to apply it through our website. Uh, we do need your official high school transcripts. You write an essay. Um, I do know that in your English class, you will write an essay and you can actually send that to us once you get it graded. And then um, a letter of recommendation from your amazing college counselors. Mine was Miss Miranda. <laughs> so this is just showing some of our financial aid opportunities. So um, what we do is we do take two scholarships, merit-based scholarships, some that you can apply for and some that are given to you because of your scholar or you know what you've taken your junior or senior year. Um, we stack those two and then we take your FAFSA information as well. So you see that total cost range, don't even worry about it, nobody pays it. But we do offer you know a ton of different financial aid opportunities. Um, like I said, you do have to apply for some, but our deadline, if you're a senior on here and you somehow snuck on, our deadline was March 1st, but for next year, you know, they're still open, don't worry. Uh, we have over, you know, 300 opportunities for internships. With us being a STEM related school, our students will have internships their junior and senior year. And we have so much flexibility. We work with our students to make sure that they are able to, you know, work. We have full-time students that are also, you know, workers, of course. And we want to make sure that you use our reputation to help you become an adult in the real world. So contact us if you need anything. I can leave this slide up. Uh, we have so much social media. <laughs> and like I said, um, my name is Teresa Bertini. So my email is tbertini at ltu.edu. We are open for visits. So we have visits every day. Um, we have a few open houses and I would re really, really recommend. We have a ton of summer school or you know summer programs. So if you want to go to a specific summer program like how to create a website or how to create your own invention, look it up on our site. Uh, we have so many, so many specific programs and they are each a week long. So, you know, that five day increment, you can, parents, you can drop them off and pick them up and enjoy your time in Ann Arbor for a while. So yeah, thanks so much. And uh, we love <laughs> Ignatius. <laughs> thanks y'all. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. It was great to hear from you, Lawrence Technological University. We're going to keep going now and hear from Illinois Institute of Technology. I want to remind everyone that that Q&A function is live. So go ahead and get your questions in, but we're ready whenever you are, Illinois Institute of Technology.
Hello, everyone. My name is Ebony Hughes Allen, and I'm an undergrad admissions counselor for Illinois Tech. As you can see in our beautiful photo, we are in the heart of downtown. We actually are in Bronzeville, Illinois. And if you still don't know where we are, if you live in Chicago, I'm quite sure you know where the White Sox Stadium is. We live right across the freeway from the White Sox Stadium. So here at Illinois Tech, <clears throat> excuse me, we are a STEM university. We have 45 plus undergrad majors in the fields of computer science, engineering, architecture, business, lab sciences, psychological sciences, and more. Our, studi our student body is about 3,000 undergrads, 49 US states, 100 plus countries represented, and an 87% retention rate. Our academic experiences, over eight, 800 of classes of, of 40 students or less, 100% of classes are taught by professors and one-to-one -one faculty advisory models, and 100% of students start in their major in the first year. Majors at Illinois Tech. We have seven major buildings. We have the Armour College of Engineering. We have the College of Architecture, College of Computing, Lewis College of Science and Letters, and the Stewart School of Business. We also have special programs, dual admission honors, law, biology, psychology, science dual degrees, and we have dual admissions programs. Here are some of the experiences. So this year we put together a program called Elevate Your Future. And within Elevate Your Future, we are guaranteed that we will find you a place, job placement. And if we don't, we definitely will um, uh, gear our, our mission towards helping you. If you cannot find a position or a job once you have graduated from Illinois Tech, then you can come back with us and actually take some classes on us. So we have research experiences, we have inter, uh, interprofessional projects, we have all campus experiences. So when you signed up for Elevate, it is a promise that you're making, but we're, all, we're making a promise to you as well. So keep that in mind. Our residential experiences, I love this. So the picture that you see here, that is Roe. Um, that's John and Jeanne Row Village, and it looks like a toaster, and the L train goes right through it. So it's really fun and exciting. It's a beautiful view. The, the desktops are actually open, the, the open tops, and you can sit out there, and you can have fun with your friends. It's 70% of our Illinois Tech students live on campus, and we provide housing all four years. We have various halls, Cunningham Hall, Case Hall, John and Jean Row Village, as I mentioned before, McCormick Student Village, and apartment housing and also Creek housing. We also have various clubs and organizations, over 150 plus organizations. We have um, competitive esports, which is really cool. If you love game, if you're a big gamer, but we're also an NCAA Division III athletic school, which means that we are not an athletic school. We are an academic institution. And we also have Greek life. Illinois Tech Admissions Process Overview. Common App is the way that you would apply with us. An alternative application for transfer students is available. The required items are high school transcripts, one letter of recommendation, and up to three letters will be accepted. Optional items, your SAT, ACT scores, and a portfolio of your related work. Admission timeline. So we have our early decision, which is binding October 15th, early action one, non-binding November 15th, and so on and so forth. Our regular deci decisions are non-binding, and that is typically around March 15th. Our class profiles of 4.06 to a 4.38 weighted, mostly an AB average, strong focus on that math and science grades. How strong is your application for the program you are applying for? engineering or lab science, math and science, architecture design courses, trigonometry, your business and human science, so your overall preparation. So we're really looking for those high STEM rigor courses. Illinois Tech is an engine for opportunity. So we have various scholarships that you can receive from us. We have the Henry T. Harold Scholarship, and that amount is from 10,000 to 
uh, 30,000 per year. We have our international scholarships for some of our international students, and that's starting at around 10,000 per year. And that elevates stipends. So remember the information that I gave you before about that elevate your promise. Um, this is something that you wanna think about and look into once you become a first year uh, student with us. And we also have the camera scholarship, and this is for our high ranking students. So if you meet the criteria, this can pay for your full tuition here at Illinois Tech. Your application is needed by November 15th. And we also have other scholarships, additional scholarships, which is the Crown Scholarship, Leadership Academy, the Dorchester Leadership Scholarship, the eSports. And we also have uh, the first robotic scholarships, the VEX robotic scholarships. And those are uh, by January the 15th. So here at Illinois Tech, we also have uh, free college programs, one to four week programs. So register now if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for your time. Awesome, thank you so much, Illinois Tech. Great to hear from you. We are going to hear now from the University of Toledo. Whenever you are ready, take it away. All right, let's see if I can get this popping up, maybe. I think my computer doesn't like me right now. There we go. Hopefully it'll pop up here in a second. All right, can we see that? I'm going to I'm going to say That's yeah. Great. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Sorry my computer freaked out there for a second. All right guys, my name is Scott Jackson. I am the regional enrollment manager for not Chicago, actually the greater Cleveland area. My Chicago um, counterpart was busy tonight and asked me to step in and I happily accepted because I am very familiar with Chicago and I wanted to jump in and and speak with y'all. So I am from the University of Toledo. Uh, just some great information for you today. Thank you so much for taking some time out to meet with all of us. I know we all really appreciate it. So jumping right into it to give you an idea of the University of Toledo. Uh, here's a great aerial shot of campus. We are a mid-sized public institution in the state of Ohio. We are home to around 16,000 undergraduate students, around 4,400 grad students, bringing us to just over 20,000 students. Our student representation comes from all across the country and around the world. We are looking to provide our students with a diverse student population to work with. We believe that students can learn better when they learn from those that are different than them in just about every facet of life, whether it's where they grew up, how they grew up, the traditions they have, the beliefs they hold, and just gives you a really well-rounded educational experience. And we find that definitely to be the case at the University of Toledo. The University of Toledo is located as you might guess, in Toledo, Ohio. We are about four hours from the Chicago area, so not too far, that good distance away where it feels like you're really getting away from school, but close enough to where you can get home in one afternoon drive. The majority of our students come from outside the Toledo area. Toledo is about, uh, I want to say it's the fifth largest city in the state of Ohio. It's fourth or fifth. It switches all the time with Akron and Dayton. So um, pretty large city though, so a ton of things to do in the area. Moving over to academics, so we have over 120 different academic degree programs at the University of Toledo. Uh, our colleges focus in STEM, uh, health sciences, business, education, arts, and humanities. We also have a pharmacy school, and we also have a medical school. So uh, it's really cool that you can actually come to the University of Toledo, and at any time you can find students pursuing their JD to become a lawyer, their MD to become a doctor, or, or their PharmD to become a pharmacist. But in the undergraduate level, all of our degree programs um, are designed to give students a leg up on their on their uh, fellow counterparts at other institutions in the state because we want to make sure that our students are getting out there. The University of Toledo is a public school similar to like an Ohio State, maybe an Ohio University, Kent State, Akron, schools like that. So uh, we have to do everything uh, we can to stick out and we feel like we do that very well. Outside of the 120 majors we offer, University of Toledo is at the forefront of public research, not just in Northwest Ohio, but around the state as well. With our medical school, our engineering college pharmacy program, uh, we provide our students a lot of really great chances to get deep into research and uh, kind of dig their heels in and, and become an expert in their field. 
on top of that, all those skills they're gaining, uh, our graduates rank number one among Ohio's public universities when it comes to uh, average starting graduate salary. So we're some, something we're really proud of and we're always looking to build skills for our students to just have a leg up on that job search once they start that. On top of uh, our academic degree programs, we are really focused on learning by doing. We want you to get involved in research. We want you to get involved in internships and co-ops if you're looking to go the engineering path. Um, our degree program does provide students with uh, a, a lot of options when it comes to research. Here you can see some students working right on Lake Erie. We have a Lake Erie Research Center located about 15 minutes from campus. So a lot of our students going into ecology, marine biology, um, things like that can do some research there. But on top of that, we have some corporate partners around the city and around the state and region as well. Toledo's in a really great spot. Um, you know, within a three hour radius, we have about three dozen different Fortune 500 companies. But if you expand that circle out just a little bit more to around four hours, you have huge cities like Chicago nearby, uh, Detroit's about an hour, Cleveland where I'm at is about two hours, Pittsburgh is about three and a half, four hours as well, and Columbus is um, about two and a half hours. So a lot of large cities with a lot of internships and co-op experiences regionally for our students to have access to, um, and we're always looking to grow our, our partnerships with companies and organizations around the state and country. Around campus, we have a lot of great facilities and resources for our students, uh, including our lab spaces for our engineering students and our medical students, biology, things like that as well. But we also have labs for our business students. Uh, we have our own Bloomberg Trading Lab for our students in finance to learn how to trade stocks and build portfolios from machines that they might be using when they uh, pursue a job in finance. On the screen, you can actually see our observatory, our planetarium right on campus. So our students looking to go into astronomy and astrophysics have a certified telescope that they actually get access to and can do research on there as well. So there's a lot of great things that students uh, can do in their degree program at the university of Toledo. Around the community, we have a ton of things going on. We want our students to get involved. Uh, we have over uh, 400 different student organizations for you to take part in. We have Division I Athletics. You can see a picture here of our, our football fans. Uh, the stadium's always packed every Saturday. We compete in the Mid-American Conference, so a mid-major uh, uh, sports program, uh, 13 Division I sports, and we have about two dozen club sports as well, so if we don't offer it at the D1 level, I can promise you we probably have it at the club level, so you can and still compete in the sports you love most. On top of that, our students love giving back and donating their time uh, to the area as well. Man, six minutes really go fast. I just saw you pop up. The city of Toledo has a ton of things going on. I'll pop my information in the chat as well. Uh, application wise, August 1st, our application opens up. We are test optional, but we also super score if you'd like to provide that information to us as well. And there's our contact information. Six minutes go really fast. I ramble a lot. Thank you so much for coming and I'll pop uh, my email in the chat. Thanks again. Thank you, University of Toledo. And I know everyone who is presenting today agrees with you. Uh, Y'all are doing a great job. This is not easy to get all of this information in in six minutes, but we're gonna keep on rolling here. Um, coming up next, we have Oakland University. Whenever you are ready, take it away. Let me just get my screen shared. Hello and welcome. My name is Hannah Stanhope. I'm one of the admissions advisors here at Oakland University. We are located in Rochester, Michigan. So I like to tell students we're about 30 minutes away from Detroit, but only 10 minutes down the road from Great Lakes Crossing Outlet Mall. Um, it's usually where I end up spending my time during my lunch. <laughs> Um, just to give you a little bit of history about Oakland University, we were founded in 1957 um, and we were founded by Matilda Dodge Wilson. And in the beginning, we were known as Michigan State University Oakland. Um, but then fast forward to 1963, that's when we got our namesake, Oakland University. And our most famous mascot, Grizz, was debuted in 1998 and has been stuck on campus ever since. Uh, whenever you do come to campus, if you choose to, um, my favorite thing is to play Where's Waldo, but with Grizz. <laughs> um, and in more recent years, we have um, done a lot of really great renovations to our campus. 
uh, one of which being our open center, which is kind of the hub of our campus. Additionally, we just re we just opened our um, brand new residence hall, Hillcrest Hall, and it's the only building on campus that has Dr. Pepper. But hopefully in the next coming years, we'll be able to see you here at OU. Uh, to give you a little bit of information about Oakland University, so we have about just over 13,000 undergraduate students, about 4,000 graduate students, totaling to just about 17,000 students on and off our campus at all times. Um, typically, in a undergraduate course, you'll find 35 other students along with you, but as you get more into your major, you'll um, have classes that are a little bit smaller, so 21 to 1 ratio. And what do all of those 17,000 students do when they're on campus? They join one of our student organizations. We have just over 300 student organizations, including 17 fraternity and sororities. So you'll never be bored on our campus. There's always something to do. Um, but while, you know, you are in between, you know, sorority or fraternity events or, you know, taking part of your club tennis team, um, you're studying one of our 140 grad undergraduate programs that are housed in six different academic schools. Um, so our application is free and it's available online. So you'll just visit oakland.edu slash apply. And for incoming freshmen, we ask that you fill out the online application, send us your high school transcript and submit your ACT or SAT scores. We are test optional and we are test optional through 2025. Um, that was just something that was recently announced. So um, I really like that we are test optional um, just because it gives more students, more opportunities to receive some scholarship, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, typically, students will come in with a 3.5 grade point average and an 1130 on the SAT. So typically, you know, that is the average of our student profile, but we will accept anyone who has at least a 2.5 grade point average. Moving on along, talking about everybody's favorite subject, cost of attendance. So for tuition for incoming freshmen, it's just over $14,000. Housing starts at $10,000, totaling to over $24,000. It's a bit of a scary number. I know I don't like looking at that, but something to point out before I talk about some scholarships is um, Oakland University is a fee-free institution. So you'll never pay for parking. If you live on campus, you won't have to pay for laundry. And I always like to tell parents, you won't find your kids digging at the bottom of your purse, trying to find all of those quarters <laughs> to put into the laundry machine. Um, you'll never pay for a registration fee, orientation fee. Um, all of our athletic events are free as well. So, um, you know, we just want to make every part of our campus accessible for all of our students. And more than 50% of our students receive some sort of financial aid, whether it be through FAFSA or any of our scholarships that we do offer. We do offer a lot of merit-based scholarships for our incoming students. This is just a snapshot from fall of 2022. So seniors, if you're here, <laughs> um, these are some of the scholarships that you would be um, eligible for. It is split into two different sections. This first section on the left-hand side is if you do not submit your test score. And that right-hand side where it extends out is if you do submit your test score. So there is a bit more opportunity for students to receive a little bit more funding if they do submit those test scores. And we will um, you know, accept an updated transcript um, you know, up until you do decide to attend here. So if you find yourself at a 3.8, but then at the end of your senior year, you're like, oh wait, I jumped to, to a 3.9. We will reconsider you for scholarship and um, get you bumped up in our little grid here. Um, in addition to some scholarships, we do offer some really great grants for our students, um, one of which being our Golden Grizzlies Tuition Guarantee Award, which will um, give 100% tuition for up to four years after the estimated fee of contribution and gift aid is considered. So through FAFSA, there are a few different types of aid that you can receive. Um, oh, wow, that six minutes did really go by fast. He was not lying. <laughs> um, so this is based off of your 
FAFSA award. If you would like more information, you can visit our website, oakland.edu slash financial services to get a little bit more about that. In addition, we have some other great grants as well, and you can visit our website, oakland.edu slash financial services. And last but not least, I'd just like to point out that 84% of our graduates are pursuing continuing education or moving on to a career that they studied so hard for here at OU. Um, and thank you all for coming in. Awesome. Thank you so much, Oakland University. I hate to always be the bearer of bad news on these uh, time uh, reminders, but y'all are doing a great job. So we're going to keep going and we're going to hear from our last institution here, which is Northern Michigan University. We are ready for you whenever you are. All right. Let me get my screen set up. Um, can you see that? It's not yet in present mode, but we can see it. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So thanks for stopping by tonight, everyone. Uh, my name is Sarah, and I am the Regional Admissions Counselor at Northern Michigan University. And Northern is located in Marquette, Michigan. Here's a little map of where we're located. So if you can find Chicago, you go through Wisconsin to get up to us, but we're six and a half hours away, an hour, six and a half hour drive or an hour flight. We do have direct flights uh, from O'Hare and Delta and United fly direct up there. But it's a very scenic type of campus. Um, you can see here campus itself, it's pretty centralized. You don't need a car or public transportation to get around and Lake Superior is right on the edge here. So 10 to 15 minute walk from campus. Um, so if you're into the outdoors, um, this is a great college to look at. Um, we've been ranked in the 50 best outdoor colleges, uh, best college town for skiers and top 20 safest college campuses in the Midwest. Um, as you can imagine by the name Northern Michigan University, we do get quite a bit of snow. So hopefully it doesn't come to surprise to you. Um, but we do have underground tunnels and overhead skywalks connecting a lot of our buildings. And if you're into the outdoor sports, um, skiing, snowboarding is pretty big. We have Market Mountain just 10 minutes away from campus. So that's pretty cool. Um, but overall we have, um, on tons of different majors and we're a mid-sized school. We're just under 8,000 students and the average class size is 28. Um, if you happen to be in a major that has labs or seminars, seminars those will be 15. So those are even much more uh, of the one-on-one -on -one type of setting. Um, we've been ranked in the top 10 in the country for construction management, um, top 15 best public universities in the Midwest, top 20 best affordable pre-med programs, and top 50 um, for education. So here's a little bit of a, a, a small list of our um, signature programs. Overall, we have 180 different programs, so quite a bit to choose from, but some of our specialty ones, um, you know, starting with the FROST, um, which is our forensic outdoor research station. Uh, but basically, you know, when people die, they can donate their bodies, they get buried in this outdoor station and students go out there and determine what's the cost of death, how long has the body been decomposing, that kind of stuff. Um, then Plant Revolution, we were the first university to launch a medicinal plant chemistry program about six or seven years ago, where you look at, you look at um, chemical compounds in marijuana leaves for medicinal purposes, then cyber and robotics, theater, entertainment arts, cancer research. We have a brain tumor research center right on campus that you can get involved with as an incoming freshman. Um, whether if you're going into, you know, biology or neuroscience, or if you're thinking pre-med, oftentimes many med schools make it a requirement that you have some kind of research base uh, done in order to get admitted into med school. Um, and then the Bayer Center, which is our um, for uh, behavior analysis um, type programs. Dorms, um, you know, we're suite style dorms, so two bathrooms, or two bedrooms connected by a bathroom. And it's like this for freshman year and sophomore year. We have over 300 student organizations on campus, so quite a bit for you to get involved with. And every semester we always have, you know, guest speakers, concerts, um, always something going on on campus. Division two with all of our sports, except for men's ice hockey, which is Div division one, 
I'm sure you don't find that shocking at all. Um, but hockey is a, a pretty big sport up there and all the hockey games are well attended and it's a lot of fun. So, um, and then all of our students get a free laptop. Um, if you go into our arts and design programs, for example, which um, to give you an idea, Nickelodeon and Pixar hire quite a bit more for our, like our digital cinema, animation, illustration, um, computer art type programs. You get a MacBook Pro, everyone else gets a Lenovo ThinkPad. Um, and that comes with the software you need for your classes. So that's uh, a nice bonus. Scholarship started a 3.0 GPA that gets you $5,600. If you get that scholarship, you automatically go from out-of-state tuition to in-state. And then depending on whatever your GPA is that you see listed on here, obviously the higher the grades, the more monies you get. These are automatically awarded and they're purely based on your GPA. We have gone completely test blind, um, which is a little different than test optional. It means that we're not looking at test scores at all. Um, so it's a, it's a great time to be alive as a high school student, um, I think, especially if you're not a great test taker, um, which I wasn't. Um, so um, keep that in mind, just purely based on the GPA for scholarships, but also for admissions purposes. If you happen to have a 3.5 GPA your senior year of high school, then you are eligible to apply for the Presidential Scholarship Competition. Um, and that's where we have 15 full rides and 200 smaller scholarships. So depending on what you're eligible, this may be something else that you can add on to the previous slide I had with the merit-based scholarships. Our total cost for everything for a full year, you're looking at 29,240. That includes tuition and fees. So that's all your classes, includes a laptop and then room and board, which is your food, dorm, laundry, Wi-Fi, and your cables included in that as well. Um, so that is a nice plus. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. And I think I am just 10 seconds shy of my six minute mark. You did fantastic. Thank you so much, Northern Michigan University. A great way to wrap us up there. We're going to transition now to the Q&A portion of today's event. Uh, we had six wonderful presentations, so we probably only have time for maybe one question, but we will make it a good one here. I'm going to share my screen and ask all of my presenters to join me on video. Our question for the evening is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? We're going to go ahead and go in the same order, and we'll have Kettering University kick us off again. Awesome. Well, I shouldn't have to say this, but obviously apply to Kettering and, and come visit us. But uh, <laughs> no, in addition to that, I was uh, actually a former high school counselor. So I reflect on those days to, to give you some good advice. Uh, for you underclassmen, when you apply to college, I recommend you create a clean email address. One that uh, doesn't, it helps you stay organized, right? You probably get a lot of emails from colleges and stuff. Now, if you've taken the PSAT or, or whatnot, colleges get your name and, and contact info a lot of ways. So to help you stay organized and ultimately not miss important information from the colleges you apply to, I encourage you to create a clean email address. It can be a simple Gmail um, and not tied to any gaming profiles and stuff like that. Um, just so it's, it's organized and, and the one place all your communication comes. So that's my piece of advice. Um, so my advice is kind of a combo, um, and I do this with a lot of my students that are super indecisive, but I always say, figure out if you have a specific location you want to go to school, a size, and a major, because you can, you know, fall in love with the school and then realize that there are 46,000 people and you want a school of a thousand, or, you know, you really love a school in there in Alaska. So just figure out what you want to do and work from there. And hey, if you want to go to Alaska, make it happen. But those are the three things that I always say, you know, make a list, figure out if you have any of those criteria that are, you know, absolute no's on your list and go from there. So I'm going to jump right on in. So I would definitely say know who you are, know what you want things change um, and they will change, but uh, knowing exactly what you want out of life will get you into the best place where you can be. As a former high school teacher, I often told my students, if it can't be done, you can do it. You can do whatever you desire to do. And um, making sure that you take those right steps 
you can accomplish anything. So my word of advice is just make sure you know who you are. And then that way you won't waste any time at any university. You'll find the right fit and you'll make it. You'll be successful. Yeah, you know, obviously can echo everything that's been said so far. Um, but check out everything. Be open to every school. You don't know what you don't know. So check the websites, do the virtual tours. If you can get to campus, do it because uh, not everybody has to go to the, the big flagship state school. There are thousands of schools around the country, and I can promise you, you're going to find the one you love most. So check out everything. You never know what you're going to find. Yeah, and just to, um, you know, echo everything everyone else was saying, uh, you know, book an appointment with an admissions advisor. Um, you know, we are here to be your source of information, and we know a lot of information and are just waiting for the time to just expel all of that onto you and your family <laughs> or whoever, you know, accompanies you in the appointment. Um, you know, we are here to help you, and uh, we were in your shoes just like you were. So, um, you know, don't be afraid. You know, we also have shade, not shady, um, you know, some academic history <laughs> that we aren't very proud of either. And um, I will happily show you my high school grade point average. So that way we can level with each other. <laughs> All right. And lastly, I would say, you know, make an effort to visit campus. Um, I think that's probably one of the most important parts of the whole college process. As you talk with, you know, college representatives like us, you know, we'll, we'll show you the brochures and all the pictures are pretty and all the pictures are taking on the nicest sunny day and everyone's happy. No one's like, you know, sad because they had a crappy day testing or they're hungry or they just up had a late night. So I think it really makes a difference when you're there on campus, you're walking around, you're seeing other students um, and if you can find that connection, you can meet with faculty, sit in a class, eat at the cafeteria. Like, do you like the food? Is this okay? Or is this just not your kind of thing? So um, I'd say any opportunity you ever get to visit campus, make sure you take advantage of that. Fantastic. Well, that's some great advice uh, all around from everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to share my screen one last time here as we wrap it up. We uh, want to thank our panelists as well as our attendees. Thanks for being here. I hope that you're making notes and checking out all these websites and we'll be reaching out to all these fine folks soon. Um, just so you know, when you close this window, there's going to be a very quick five question survey. Any feedback that you can provide would be most appreciated. Uh, we also have one more session yet this evening so please check out that schedule and jump into another session right after this y'all are troopers for sticking around for all of this but i know it's great information um and then last but not least i put that link in the chat one more time uh this session is recorded and you can find this recording and all of the others at strivescan.com forward slash ignatius all right everyone thank you so much see you in the next session have a great evening Bye bye